All right, this is how to install a solid state drive in a Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop. So let's get started by removing the battery. All right, now you'll want a Phillips head screwdriver and just remove the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, eight screws. All right, now you want something like this plastic thin guitar-like piece uh, to score around the rear chassis and make sure that you're not scratching up with something metal. And now we have the internal battery here and we just want to unscrew it one, two, uh, one, two, three, and we'll disconnect it from the motherboard right here. Now in the chassis for the solid state drive, there's just one screw right here to remove to get this out and we'll put it on the new solid state drive. And so for the solid state drive, we have a 240 gigabyte Kingston A400 You'll notice that there's only one RAM stick installed and unfortunately this model is limited to one DIMM slot. Not a big deal. You can still seek out one 8GB DDR3 1600MHz RAM stick and that would be ideal. Uh, now that we have this thing open, I'm going to do a little bit of service and I noticed that the CPU fan is a bit dirty and dusty. I'm going to actually remove the heat sink and the heat pipe clean the fan and put some new thermal paste on the CPU. So after you've taken off the four screws here with your Phillips head screwdriver, it looks like there's a little ribbon cable connecting from the fan to the motherboard, so be careful about that. All right, so now that everything's installed and serviced, let's plug this in. And here's the Windows 10 USB. All right, to do this, we just need to power on the device. Start hitting enter until we're greeted with this startup interrupt menu. We'll press F1 to enter BIOS. And before you're ready to install, it always helps to just take a look. It's date and time accurate, etc. Go over to the security tab and go down to IO port access and you can make sure that everything's enabled or disabled if you want it. Over here, we'll go to boot startup and it looks like the Kingston SSD is boot number one and number two is the USB with Windows 10. So let's hit F10, save and exit. And now we'll hit enter key again. And this time we'll hit F12. And that brings up the boot menu screen where we can select the USB hard drive that has Windows 10 on it. So the USB is loaded, I'm going to go through setup and we'll install Windows 10 and we'll come back, do a quick review before the end of the video. Alright, so we have Windows 10 installed and ready to go. So if you have any questions or if you feel like you missed something or added too much, etc. Let me know in the comments and I'll chat with you there. Hopefully this video helped you out. Have a nice day.